Let's take a look at an overview of the PFD information on a Garmin G500. At a glance we see basic HSI information, basic attitude indicator information. On the left hand side we have here true airspeed indicated in knots. We see different V speeds uh, bugged VR, VX, VG, or V Glide, and VY. Our current airspeed will be listed here. Our current ground speed will be listed here. Any nav information will be listed on the top of this, uh, on the top of the PFD, so we can see what our next waypoint is, what the distance is, what the desired track is, uh, and what the actual track is. Any altitude that we've pre-selected will be listed here in this uh, box. In this case, we have 5,000 feet pre-selected. Our altitude tape is indicated here. We see positive altitudes or altitudes above us that we could climb to here, and altitudes we can descend to would be listed here. Our current altitude would be presented right here. Our altimeter setting or barometric setting will be right here, in this case 2992. This box right here is our vertical speed tape. In this case, we can indicate climbs here, plus 1,000 feet a minute, plus 2,000 feet, minus 1,000, minus 2,000. This little pointer indicator will indicate our exact um, vertical speed, either climb or descent, and it will follow along to the appropriate um, setting here just by uh, sliding up or down this presentation. Our exact vertical speed, either positive or negative, will be listed here in a numeric value, and we have a bug right here that we can choose to select to bug either zero or bug a particular climb or descent rate. HSI information presented here. We have our heading presented right here. Uh, that's our current heading. We can select a heading bug with this blue bug right here. We can select, in this case, a, a nav source to have overlaid on our HSI so we can track properly. Uh, in this case, we've selected the GPS en route. We could select this CDI key, this soft key right here. Now the VOR is presented uh, as green needles, and we could toggle back and forth between the two. In this case, we'll leave it on GPS. If we have any bearing pointers selected, we can uh, see them here, and this is what is uh, active for us. Uh, and then they would be presented as a pointer or an RMI uh, type presentation here along the HSI. Outside air temperature is listed right here wind vectors or wind data is presented in this little box uh, and you can select preferences for that on the MFD. Along the left hand side of the PFD we have a series of keys. In this case this is the heading uh, bug key. The heading presentation will show up. We can push to sync and it will sync to our current heading or we can scroll on the cursor wheel left or right as appropriate to select our actual heading. Course we can select uh, course we see here is presented as uh, 150. I would need to toggle to a different mode. Uh, so I'm going to put that on uh, green needles. We can select, uh, in this case, we'll select a course of 090 uh, for a radial uh, for a VOR. We could select altitude here. In this case, it's uh, pre selected, as we indicated earlier, to 5,000 feet. Those two indicate the same. And we can dial that either up or down as appropriate uh, so that we can maintain a bugged altitude. In this case, we'll select 3,000. Vertical speed is here. And right now, we are indicating zero. We could push to sync. That would indicate zero. Or we can say, I want to pre-select that I have a 500 foot per minute climb rate. In that case, we'd see that bug to help us maintain that constant rate climb. Barometric pressure, we can select here by selecting uh, the current altimeter setting as appropriate uh, just by selecting barrow, dialing to the correct uh, barrow setting. We see it here. We also see it here on the uh, below the altitude tape. If you were flying uh, through uh, 18,000 feet and as you climbed, let's say the current altimeter setting was 3003, as we uh, climbed, we would hit barrow and push to sink. It would automatically sink to standard um, pressure. So there's the keys. Occasionally you'll see soft keys down on the bottom for the PFD, uh, but most of the information is presented directly to you on this screen. And that's a general overview of the PFD.